Mike, News 2 is your local election headquarters. Yeah, election day, under a month away. There are a few important dates to keep in mind as we get closer. News 2's Jordan Sayopa joins us in the studio. And Jordan, the start of the early voting period is actually right around the corner. Carolyn Brendan, that's right. You don't have to wait until November 5th to cast your ballot in the upcoming election. In just one week from today, the two week early voting period will begin, giving registered voters in Charleston County seven different locations to choose from. Mark your calendars because there are key dates leading up to the 2024 November election, starting with October 14th, the last day for South Carolinians to register to vote. The best thing to do is go to SE Votes and do online voter registration. So if you have a driver's license, it's up to date. You'll just go to SE Votes, put in your social security number with your driver's license number, and you'll get registered. Voters must get that online form filled out by 11.59 p.m. or in person before the close of business. Mail-in registration will be accepted too as long as it's postmarked Monday. Once voters are registered, they can plan to cast their ballot in person as early as next Monday. This is a great opportunity to exercise your right to vote. And I really believe that early voting will be a fantastic experience for our voters. We have plenty of staff at each location, the resources. The early voting period will take place Monday through Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. beginning October 21st through November 2nd. Going the early voting route gives registered voters in Charleston County the option to choose between seven different locations instead of having to go to their designated polling place on Election Day. It is a great option for voters and you're not crammed into just that 12 hours on Election Day where lines tend to be longer. Isaac Kramer, the executive director of the Charleston County Board of Elections, says voters don't need to have a specific reason for voting early, just a photo ID at the ready. This is the first presidential election since the law on early voting changed in 2022, so they're expecting many first timers. Before you had to have an excuse, you had to sign a form. Uh, it was a very slow process. Now it's just like election day. You show up with your photo ID and you're checked right in to vote. Now we will have, we do have the seven early voting locations posted on our website, countonto.com. Now Kramer says if you're planning to vote by mail, you will need to request an absentee ballot by phone or in person. And the deadline to request an absentee ballot is October 25th at 5 p.m. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Jordan Sayopa, Count on Two.